Hi, welcome back. This is Sean Chua from SimpleCamConcepts.com. Now, in the previous video, I have talked about the extraction of metals uh, from these metal ores and how we choose the method of extraction based on the reactivity series uh, of the metals itself. Now, today I'm going to talk about case study on extraction and this has to do with the extraction of iron from its iron ore. All right? And the method that we use here is known as a blast furnace. This is a very important case study and the examiner would love to test you on this uh, concepts and everything related to it, right? So let's take a look at the main um, uh, points over here. Now, um, the iron is always mined from the iron ore and the name is known as hematite. And the main component inside there is your iron 3 oxide, Fe2O3, all right? In solid state. Now, the raw materials that we use for blast furnace in order to extract the iron out from the iron ore or from the hematite, all right, is the hematite itself, the iron ore, we need that. Uh, coke, which is essentially carbon. Limestone, which is your calcium carbonate. Uh, you also need the hot air, right, which consists of 21% of oxygen in it. The four main steps over here is production of carbon dioxide, and after that, production of carbon monoxide. Then the reduction of the iron 3 oxide in the hematite. And after which, uh, the last step is the removal of the main impurity in the hematite, right? So, uh, before I go into the equations that's involved, let's take a look at a schematic diagram, a diagram that uh, represents the uh, blast furnace. So at the top, we'll add in the raw material called hematite, coke and limestone. And then you also pump in hot air near the bottom of the, bla the blast furnace, all right? Hot air inside here, which contains once again 21% oxygen. Uh, and then there will be chemical reaction occur in the blast uh, furnace. You will have waste gases coming out here. And then uh, after which you will have your molten iron, all right? So this is the iron that you want to get. Uh, as well as something known as the molten slag, all right? So let's get into the specific uh, reactions over here. Now, um, first step is the production of carbon dioxide. All right? So let me show you how we utilize the four so-called reactants here, hematite, coke, limestone, and hot air, to come up with uh, the equations, the total five of them, in these four main steps, or four main sections. All right? First of all is that the coke will react with the hot air all right, to form carbon dioxide. So the equation is this. So carbon plus oxygen in the hot air, you form carbon dioxide. And then the carbon dioxide over there, all right, will react with more of the coke inside the blast furnace. So it's uh, here, carbon dioxide, will react with more carbon or more coke to form carbon monoxide. All right, so to balance it, it will be, uh, is this balance rating? Yep, this is balance. Uh, so you have your carbon monoxide. And after that, what happened is the reduction of your hematite. So what happened is your Fe2O3 over here, your iron 3 oxide, will then react with the carbon monoxide from the previous step. All right. And then it will give you, or give you your uh, molten iron. And carbon dioxide is also produced over here. So let me balance this. Um, one, I memorized this as one, three, two, three. So once again, if you've watched uh, a lot of my videos, please do so um, because they're very useful. Uh, I tend to kind of uh, memorize, remember key uh, uh, balance equations, stoichiometry, the numbers, um, so that I can write very fast in the exam, all right? Because uh, I don't want to waste time because this is so important, I know it has a high chance of coming out. I'll just remember the stoichiometry, the balanced numbers, all right, in front, the coefficients for each substance so that I can go very fast. So I, I remember it as one, three, two, three. So one, I believe this is two because iron, and then one, three, two, three. Right? One, three, two, three. So take a look, iron is balanced. Um, carbon is balanced. Oxygen total six. Total of oxygen is three plus three on this side, six. So it's a balanced equation, all right? So you get your main uh, product, which is called your molten iron over here, all right? Or which is your molten iron over here. So if you look at it carefully, 
Um, actually, it's just a sequence of events. Um, that's why I say it's very easy to follow through and you, it's easy to remember that. You produce CO2 in the first step. CO2 is then used in the second step to produce your CO, your carbon monoxide, which is used in the third step. All right, so one leads to another. Okay, so this is how you get your molten iron. Now, uh, it has a name, this molten iron. Um, it is known as cast or big iron, all right? And it's in liquid state, it's in molten state, all right? So uh, with that, what about the last section, which is the removal of main impurity? Now, hematite has a lot of uh, sand, silicon dioxide, SiO2 inside it, uh, which is an acidic oxide. And it's not good for the environment. So before you so-called um, throw them away and it goes into your environment, uh, we tend to want to remove the acidic oxide, right? Uh, before we discharge it from um, so-called into the environment. So the fourth equation we have to do with, sorry, just I forgot to dig a uh, hematite, right? Which is here, if you recall. Now, you realize there's one raw material that you have not used, one of the rectum. This is your calcium carbonate, your limestone, is used in the fourth step which is a thermal decomposition of your calcium carbonate, a triangle to show that it's heat or it's heated, to form your calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. And then what happens is calcium oxide will then react with the main impurity, which is SiO2, is silicon dioxide, is an acidic oxide, to form something known as calcium silicate. Right, known as calcium silicate. Um, let me run through this with you. So calcium oxide is a basic oxide. When you learn acids and bases, you learn this. Calcium oxide, um, metallic oxide is a basic oxide. Silicon dioxide is acidic in nature. So this is an acidic oxide. Right. Yeah, oxides. And then it forms something known as calcium silicate. Right? So uh, this is actually a neutralization reaction a neutralization reaction uh, and then you get something called calcium silicate this is the chemical name it's also known as slag s-l-a-g all right and it's liquid state is molten that's why i wrote here molten slag all right in the diagram itself now um then let's run through this again there are total four steps all right uh, the first three steps leads you to get your metal, which is iron. And the last step is to remove the main impurity, which is your uh, silicon dioxide, uh, through the process of neutralization uh, to form your calcium silicate, uh, or you call it slag, right? So if you run back to this uh, diagram itself, we've covered the three raw materials that's added at the top. We've also covered that hot air is required to be uh, introduced into the blast furnace uh, near the bottom. There's chemical reaction that occur, and then the molten slag and molten iron is produced as the product. Molten iron is here, and the molten slag is here, right? So uh, I want you to take note of the diagram. You realize that molten iron is, um, it flows out of the blast furnace at a lower level than molten slag. Why is that so? It has to do with density, right? So uh, what happened is molten iron is metal. Metal tends to have high density, especially transition metals. Iron is a transition metal, so it will have high density, right? So this is higher density because it's a transition metal. Whereas molten slag essentially is a what? CaSiO3 is an ionic compound. Ionic compound, ionic substances, tends to have lower density than metal, all right? So they will be collected at a higher um, level of the blast furnace. So this is lower density, all right? Anything that is of higher density, it will sink, okay? So what else? Then don't forget about waste gases over here. Now, there will be gases that come out, all right? So who are these waste gases? Uh, what are these waste gases? Uh, Commonly, we will say that the waste gases will be carbon dioxide and carbon uh, monoxide. If from here you produce carbon dioxide, and maybe some carbon monoxide that is uh, not 
totally uh, reacted with your iron 3 oxide um, to form carbon dioxide it will be available available there as carbon monoxide all right so it will be co2 sometimes we also like to say there's carbon monoxide produced and what else remember that air contains 21 percent of uh, oxygen all right that is used over here in the first step so the rest of the gases in the air that is not used will also come out as waste gases so who are these? you be your nitrogen which is uh, which makes up 78 percent of your air all right then you have probably your noble gases okay your noble gases so these are the examples of gases that you will also be tested on all right so this is blast furnace now, before we end this video, just to share with you, uh, the molten iron over here, the molten iron, all right, is not very useful yet. Number one, uh, why? Because, not useful, uh, it's not very useful, because number one, it contains impurities. It's not totally pure. So it contains some impurities uh, whereby you need to remove it, all right? And then at the same time, uh, pure iron is not uh, very strong and hard it's pretty soft and malleable right not useful because it's soft and malleable so what happened is that we need to what we need to um, so-called convert it into an alloy which i've discussed in one of my previous video on metals known as metals versus alloys so do go and take a look at the video um, so what happened is uh, because of this we have to convert it into an alloy all right so the two steps first remove the impurities in the industry and after that they're going to convert it into an alloy all right and the alloy will then be known as your steel all right so this alloy is known as steel okay and then uh, there are three types of steel number one is called uh, mouse steel also known as a uh, low carbon steel. Uh, second one is known as your uh, mouse steel, and then you have your what? Let me see. Uh, you have your high carbon steel. High carbon steel. All right. And the third one you have, which is very important, is known as your stainless steel. So these are the three steels uh, that will be uh, asked. All right. So in the next video, I'll probably have a, a very short um, um, introduction of, to the three types of steel. So do look out for that video. Um, meanwhile, do revise this blast furnace once again and review the video because it's a very, very um, important case study that we uh, tested in your exam. All right? uh, examiners like to give you this question. Uh, if not, I hope you enjoy this video and learn a lot from it. I look forward to see you in the next video. Take care and all the best.